guys, so today I'm going to be doing my January favorites and I have a bunch of fun stuff to show you this month and I usually don't venture out too much with bright colors or different eyeshadows throughout my monthly favorites, but this month I actually have a lot of fun products that I want to show you guys. So I'm going to start off with lip products because I have a few lip products that I really want to show you guys and most of them are MAC lipsticks and the first one which is probably my favorite of the entire month um, is this lipstick from the Apres Chic collection I think and this is called Hot Altitude or Hot Altitude however you want to say it and I'm wearing it right now it's just the perfect everyday pink color um, and I'll show you a swatch of it there is a swatch of it I just love this color so so much it's not too light of a pink to where it washes you out. It just adds such a pretty color to your face and it's not too bright. You can wear it with a really natural look like I am right now or you can wear it with like a smoky eye and it doesn't distract from it. It's just the perfect color. I absolutely love this and it is limited edition so I would try to find it now um, if you want this color. And I have the color Cream Cup which I have used a ton and this is just kind of the same kind of color as cream cup but a little bit darker so that's cream cup and that's hot altitude so I think it's just a little bit more wearable this is a little too pale to wear every day for me but the hot altitude color is just so so pretty and this is like my favorite lipstick probably of all time now I have been wearing this almost every day um, when I just want a neutral color but still a pink color so I love this color so so much Okay, then my next favorite lipstick, which I have mentioned a ton of my videos before, this is Rebel Lipstick from MAC, and I have mentioned this in favorites, but when I want to do a really strong dark lip this month, this is what I've been wearing, and there is a color uh, swatch of that. This is a really pretty, like, wine fuchsia color. It doesn't come out as dark as it looks in the tube. It comes out a little bit more pink, which I really, really like. And anytime I wear like this oxblood color, I think it looks so cool to have kind of the matching lip. And I have been wearing this color a lot. And I get so many compliments on it when I wear it because it's just so dramatic. But I think it's still really wearable because it has that pink tone to it. Okay, and then my next favorite lipstick, which I showed in my last tutorial. This is um, one of the new Maybelline Vivids uh, lipstick. This is what the cap looks like. It comes in the bright orange packaging. And this is just a bright purple pink lipstick. It doesn't come off as purple on your lips, um, but it is so, so pretty. And there is a swatch of this one. So it's a really pretty purpley pink color. I don't have any like purple toned lipsticks in my collection, so this is a little bit different for me, but I just love how it looks. I'm wearing it in my Lorac Pro Palette collab um, and in my Lorac Pro Palette review. So if you want to see what it looks like on, you can go check out that video. But the consistency of this is so nice. It's so creamy and pigmented and it doesn't dry out your lips. It has a nice like um, semi-glossy finish and it's it's only like $5 so it's really affordable. But the consistency and the pigmentation on this lipstick is amazing. Okay, then my next lipstick is another purpley lipstick. And this is called Night Blooming from MAC. This was limited edition in one of their recent collections. It's one of their matte teen lipsticks. So it's a matte finish, but it's very soft and creamy. It's really pigmented, and it doesn't feel like you're wearing a really dry matte lipstick. So there is a swatch of it. I would say it's a little bit more purple than the Maybelline one and maybe slightly darker, but it's very similar. So if you were looking for like a dupe of this, the Maybelline one is really similar and it gives a pretty similar effect on your lips, but this is just so pretty and bright. It gives such a pretty pop of color and I love the formula of this. It's so smooth and creamy. Um, and it's really pigmented. I really love the packaging. It's very slim and sleek. So I would definitely recommend this color. So I have two purpley lipsticks and I never really wear purples, but I absolutely love this color. And I wore it in my Get Ready With Me video. So if you want to see what that looks like, you can go check that out. Okay, moving on to eye products. My first favorite is my Lorac Pro Palette. And I did a review on this and a tutorial with it, so you can go check those videos out if you want to see more about this palette, because um, I did do a very in-depth review on it, so I'm not going to talk about all the colors in this video, 
but this is just a great um, palette. It has all matte colors on the top and all the shimmery colors on the bottom, and I love matte eyeshadows, so I'm so glad they included all these matte colors in this palette because I love matte shadows and I think they just tie a whole look together. I don't like wearing all shimmery colors on my eyes. And I recently went on a trip for about a week and I took this palette and it's so um, thin and compact that it fits perfect in your travel makeup bag. And the colors are absolutely beautiful in this palette. So I would definitely recommend it. And then the primer that it came with is also a favorite of mine. It's the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And it basically does the same thing as Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I just love the consistency of this. It's a little bit thinner, and it just goes on so smoothly and holds your shadows in place, just like Urban Decay Primer Potion. I don't really notice a difference in how my eyeshadows look or last, but I just really like the consistency of it, and I really like the applicator on it because it's flat, so it just makes it really easy to put on your eyes, and I really like this. Okay, then my next favorite probably comes as no surprise, but this is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. And basically it has five matte colors and then one shimmery color. And this is just perfect for creating a really natural, simple matte eye look or for travel. I love traveling with this because it is so um, small and compact and you just have a really nice everyday look with it. And I really like using the black as eyeliner. And that's what I'm wearing as eyeliner today. And this is just perfect for mixing with other palettes. I haven't picked up my original Naked or Naked 2 palettes all month because I've just been using these. But this is perfect for mixing with the Naked palettes or um, when I'm using my MAC eyeshadows. I just love using this to use with any other palette because it has a really nice um, array of like blending colors that you can use for any kind of eye look. So I love this. I definitely recommend it. It's $27, but I think for the price it is so awesome and it comes with a really nice big mirror that you can do your makeup with and it's just so small and easy to travel with and the packaging is really sturdy. Okay the next I have a new foundation and I absolutely love trying new foundations but I haven't switched it up in so long. I've always been using my Neutrogena Healthy Skin all year and I absolutely love it but I just wanted something different and I recently tried the Revlon Colorstay Original Foundation. This is the one for normal to dry skin and I have heard so much about this on YouTube and I'm sure you have. It's such a popular foundation from the drugstore and it's kind of known to be a heavier duty foundation and give really full coverage. And I would say, you know, people that don't like it tend to say it's kind of cakey, but I don't think it's cakey at all. And I've heard so many great things about it as well, giving great coverage and lasting all day. And that's exactly what it does. It gives great coverage. I think it looks really natural for a full coverage foundation. It gives kind of the same effect um, as my Neutrogena Healthy Skin in the sense that it looks like skin, but it has a more matte finish and it lasts all day. Um, I don't have to touch up powder or anything. My Neutrogena Healthy Skin um, tends to get a little shiny at the end of the day and it kind of can settle into a little bit of um, your lines around your mouth. Not that I have lines, but it kind of settles into weird places on your face at the end of the day. And this just stays perfect all day. It looks like you just applied it. And I'm in the color 180 Sand Beige. I have heard it is a little hard to blend, and that is true. So you just have to work in sections on your face. But if you do that, it looks really, really pretty and really flawless. Okay, then my next favorite is a bronzer, which I have been using a lot in tutorials lately. And this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And this is just a really pretty matte bronzer and it smells like chocolate. It makes it so, so yummy to use and it just makes me want to use it because it makes me so happy when I'm applying it because your face just smells like chocolate. And it is just an amazing color. It's super pigmented and matte, which I really like for contouring. Um, there it is right there. And I do not mind shimmery bronzers. Um, like to create just an all over glow or especially in the summertime but for contouring I really love matte bronzers and I absolutely love this I'm so glad I got it and it's just like a perfect matte bronzer color okay then my last favorite which is kind of a cult favorite on YouTube and a very classic product this is the MAC mineralized skin finish in soft and gentle and I can't believe I haven't got this before because um, I feel like so many people talk about it and I was at the matte counter and I was just kind of looking around and I didn't really need another highlighter. I have a lot of highlighters that I really like, but I just felt like buying this and it is so 
pretty. I'm so glad I got it. Um, to be honest, I really didn't need it. Um, I'm wearing it today. I think it just gives a really nice glow. It goes with everything. It goes over any kind of blush you're wearing. And I'm just really glad I got it. It's very, um, very shimmery and reflective. I have it all over my fingers right now. I just got it on my fingers, but you can kind of see how it catches the light. It's so pretty and I love putting this on my cheekbones and on my cupid's bow. You could even wear it as an eyeshadow. So I'm just really glad I got it. It's a really pretty soft champagne color that goes with anything. Okay, then I actually forgot a couple of things because um, I didn't have them out, but I just looked and I do have a couple more favorites. And the first one is this um, Pressed Pigment from MAC, and this is in the color Deeply Dashing, and I love this so much. This was this is limited edition in their Pressed Pigment collection, but it's just a really pretty chocolatey, bronzy brown. But what's really cool about these, the color is very sheer, but it gives a really pretty sparkle effect. And I'm a big fan of glitter, but I don't like the messiness of it. And this just gives a really soft, shimmery sparkle, um, but it doesn't give a lot of fallout or it's not very messy. And this is what it looks like. So it gives a really pretty glossy wet effect with really pretty particles of shimmer throughout it. It's so pretty. Um, but as I said, the color is pretty sheer. So I kind of use it, there it is. I kind of use it as an eyeshadow top coat. And I don't know if you can see the sparkle on camera, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. Um, this is the only one I have. I really want to go look at the other colors because um, they have a ton of pretty colors. But this is so pretty. And I will be doing a tutorial with this because I've been wearing it so much for just kind of a soft brown smoky eye. So I just kind of put this over the top of my eyeshadows and it totally transforms your whole eye look. Okay, then my last favorite is another face product um, that I've been setting my foundation with and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, I'm in the color Natural. They have a translucent one and then a darker one and I just use this to set my foundation to get rid of get rid of any excess shine and I just really like how it looks. It looks very natural. It doesn't look cakey or powdery and I mentioned my L'Oreal True Match powder last month and I love that when I want a little bit more coverage but when I just want something really sheer and lightweight I have been reaching for this and it's really cheap and I use, I've seen a lot of people use it. Tanya Burr uses it and it's just a great powder. It makes your pores look perfect and like they're not even there and it just really sets your foundation and makes it last and I never have to touch up my powder when I use this so I really like it for that and it never looks cakey which is a big thing for me. I hate cakey looking powder so I love this and it's cheap. It's from the drugstore and it really gets the job done. Okay guys so that is it for my January favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me any requests in the comments. And I hope you guys have a great February and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.